Why don't you show us your character? It's funny that he's actually not wearing the uh, same suit as here. Wow. Overwatch Ollie here, and I've got some exciting news for the next, I guess you could say, a couple of videos coming up. Uh, first off, this video is about stream elements. You can get your own merch, which is something that I've done. I've purchased it, I got a few different designs from my chibi, and I decided to put that onto a tank top, a t two t-shirts in two different sizes, medium and large, and I got them on some mugs. So this video is going to have about three parts. There's going to be the unboxing, which I'm going to do with my girlfriend. Then there's going to be the t-shirt and then the mug. I will put the timestamps here. So you guys, if you want to skip ahead, let's say you don't want to watch the unboxing, you can go straight to that. But before I get into that, I have some exciting news. And there's, I guess you could say three things that are kind of exciting. First, I got a new gaming chair after almost four years of being on a really crappy one. I got off of KGG for maybe 40, 50, 40 bucks. I'm not really sure. It was so long ago, I don't remember. And uh, yeah, so I'm sitting on it right now. I'm gonna make a different video for that, but it's super, super comfortable. And I'm sure you can tell by the background which chair it is, but uh, spoiler alert, it's from Secret Labs. So I dished out a lot of money for this, but it's super comfortable and I don't regret it. So I'll be doing a video about that. And the second thing is I got a new apartment, which I've turned into kind of like a mini studio. So I will eventually be doing a little, I guess you could call it like a budget technician video studio tour thing or whatever it's called. Because it's, it's pretty sick, it's small, but I've put a lot of work into making it really cool. So if that's something you're into, stay tuned, and we'll get right into it. So first, let's start off with the unboxing. All right. You can open it. Oh. No, you can open it. Imagine this was the thing at all. Oh, tricky! You want to be in the video? Don't joke with me. Don't joke with me. Okay, open it. Yep. I see pink. I see pink. That's a hat for him. This one I don't care about. Pink one is for you. And this one's for me. I know I want to get that one. Well, why would you get it for me then? Well, I didn't want to get two of them. I want, I want to get a couple of different ones just to see. But now I'm realizing how small these are. It makes a lot more sense to get it bigger. I guess I can take my shirt off. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll blur this part out. Just blur it in your chest? Right here in your chest. It's a little scary. Wow, thanks babe. I can see. How does it fit you? It's okay. It's, whoa, it's really long. <laughs> Holy fuck. Mine's good. I guess if it's like, if I want to wear it with some like, uh, like bike shorts or something, and like a shirt dress, it's kind of cute. Yeah, it is cute. How was the quality on the uh, thing? Pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Fuck, I'm so jealous. Well, you, you know, can wear it. Yeah, that'd probably fit me. So as you can tell by the video, I got a large and it didn't fit super good. Like it was a little bit too loose everywhere. So my girlfriend didn't really like the medium for her. Um, it was a bit too long and so she gave it to me. So here's a clip of me trying it on and you'll see it fits a lot better. So if you're a bigger person, large should be fine. 
But like if you want something a little bit more well fitted, try on the medium. And for girl sizes, honestly, I can't really tell you what would be good. Maybe a small, extra small, depending on how, what size you are. I, you, you'll have to watch a different video to know for the ladies, sorry. So now let's jump to the last part of the video where I'm just going to show you the quality, or the second to last part of the video, I'm going to show you the different qualities of the materials. Um, some of them are good, some of them are a little bit less good. And uh, yeah, so let's get straight into it. All right, first off, let's talk about the tank top. So I've got the tank top here. Uh, as usual, video in the corner of the more in-detail stuff. Uh, let's start off with the fit. The tank top is a little bit loose. It's, uh, I, I personally like that because when I rock climb or I do exercise, I like to have wind, all my things aired out, super good, good ventilation. But uh, I went with a, I think it's a large, let's just double check that. Yes, I went with a large and it was a little bit too big, even though that's what I like. So once again, kind of like the t-shirts, everything is sized up a little bit. So you might want to go a little bit smaller. Uh, in terms of the quality of the design, so this was the design, obviously you'll see it closer up in the corner. Um, it looks good from far, but when you go in close, like you'll see here, uh, you can kind of see that little outline, which I'm pointing with my fingers at, and it's just, I don't know, something about it just doesn't scream super good quality. It really kind of feels a bit budget, which is not the same for this shirt. So it's a bit weird. I don't know if it's different for bigger designs, smaller designs. Maybe it's better to go bigger, I'm not really sure. But uh, I wasn't super, super happy with the quality. Um, the thing is, it might be because it's on a black t-shirt. I think that might have something to do with it because the same thing kind of happened on this t-shirt. So this is the large, I'm now wearing the medium, this is large, and uh, it's the same thing, the quality kind of feels bad, honestly, it's uh, like, I'll show you here and you can see in the corner once again, that the quality isn't super good. So I'm not really sure why that is, and once again, you can kind of see that outline around it where it's almost like a white halo, like an old Star Wars movie or something. It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure why it does that. Uh, if someone knows more about clothing than me, then I don't know, write it in the comments or something. But uh, yeah, I was a bit surprised. This one's not as bad, but it's really, it's really this one where you can, the, the Pokemon one where you really see that white outline. So not too sure why I did that, but all in all, very comfortable, which is what I think is important. Um, I do find this material softer than the black material. That might just be something to do with cotton in the dyeing process. I really don't know. But the, the overall feel of it, it's good. Now, the last part of the video, which is my favorite of all the merch stuff I've gotten so far, is the mugs. So these are chibi mugs. Chibi as an anime chibi. And um, yeah, so let's have a look at these. And once again, there's two differences in quality in both mugs. So I'll show you both mugs next to each other and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So let's go to the mugs. So here's the mug. As you can see, the colors are really nice. Uh, they, this really came out good. And uh, if I make another order, I'm definitely gonna probably get a mug with every single one of my characters. And I don't know, maybe give them my as a Christmas gift or something, or maybe just keep them for me. I'm not sure. But this is super, super good. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, you won't really be able to tell on this one, but the eyes, when you look at them in person, the colors are slightly washed out. And there's a little bit of imperfections on like this part here. Um, a little bit, yeah, I mean, mainly here, here, it, it's kind of as if it was like blurred, uh, kind of like a new tattoo versus a very old tattoo. So honestly, it's not a problem at all. You really have to be nitpicking for that to bother you, like this coffee stain bothering me right now. <laughs> but all in all, it's, the quality is really good, but there is a tiny bit of blurriness here. So I'm not really sure why this one has it, while this one doesn't, but that doesn't really, doesn't affect me that much. I'm still really in love with these things. I think they're super cute. So 
that's for the mugs and uh, yeah. So there you have it for my Stream Elements kind of review unboxing and as a closing statement or a conclusion we can say, um, I do recommend it. I think it's a fun thing. It's not perfect, but it's far from bad. And if you're a small YouTuber or Twitch streamer or anything of the sort, kind of like myself on a small scale, this is a really good way to just get a couple t-shirts, a couple merch stuff out there, kind of promote yourself without having to break the bank. So I think it's a really cool thing. Um, do I recommend it? I think the answer is obvious. Yes, I do. And uh, yeah, so once again, if you enjoyed this, you know what to do down here. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm laughing now because there's a neighbor watching me right now film this and I'm super embarrassed, but I'm gonna go through the video anyways. Um, so if you're thinking of buying a Streamlabs uh, element, fuck.